Hello everyone! Today I will film a video of how to do a very quick makeup when you don't have time or when you're lazy like me today. I just can't be bothered. So I'll have to do a few essential things, what needs to be done, like sorting out my pimples and redness. I normally have a great skin, but sometimes I just like to ruin everything. Because why not, when everything is great? So I just pick my own pimples. So let's crack on with some skincare. I'm gonna use Nip and Fab Serum. It's just to moisturize the skin a bit before applying foundation. Normally my skincare would include a few products like toner, serum, moisturizer, SPF, all of that stuff. But today is one of those days where I'm just using minimum. Also, I'm not gonna use SPF. My SPF will be included in the foundation. And today I'm testing my new foundation from Vichy Laboratories. This is great because this is from the range Derma Blend. It actually is corrective, resurfacing, active foundation, which stays 16 hours. I'm going out later and uh, I just want something on my face a little bit. I'm super lazy to do the full face, but I'll be happy just to get a bit better look. This foundation is not very easy to blend, to be honest, but when it's blended and when it's on your skin, it's absolutely great. It's the foundation you can't even feel, really. I always need a brush to blend better and to absorb the excess if there is any excess. As you see, this foundation did not make my face looking super perfect. Foundation is there to do the basic thing, to cover most of the imperfections, but it's not there to do all the other jobs. For example, now I'm gonna use a concealer and concealer is a different type of product which is more concentrated, you need to use small amounts of this product and you need to use this on certain problematic areas like this one, pimple, under eyes or any other discoloration in your face. You shouldn't expect the foundation to do all these tasks for you. I'm just gonna use a small amount of concealer and a flat synthetic brush Normally eyelid is not the area for the concealer but I only use a very small tiny amount and that is not really on the eyelid, that's more on the brow bone which is that part. I use this only for, for myself and just a little bit just because of my really strong veins in this area. I don't want them to interfere with my eyeshadow so this is why I will use a bit of a concealer just for that. Slightly cover the imperfections, all about that. I'm happy with the coverage I've got now. I've got my foundation, I've got the concealer. I've corrected the imperfections, which were quite obvious. And now I'm gonna set everything with a bit of a powder. The powder I'm using is from Vichy. And this is also from the range Derma Blend. This is a really nice see-through powder, very light. This will help my foundation and all my makeup to stay. 
it's the times where we have to wear a mask and there is no option for the foundation to stay on its own under a mask. This is why we need to use powder. Foundation is set, powder is set. You can see now the face doesn't have much dimension. We need to bring the dimension back. And for that purpose, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a bit of a bronzer. My bronzer is from the palette from Revolution Pro, and I'm using this brown shade. When I'm in a rush, I really like palettes like that because these are two products in one. So now I'm just gonna use a bit of a highlighter. That's it, and now time for the bronzer. One trick, when I'm in the rush, I don't really like to use eyeshadow. It's pretty tricky with eyeshadow because you always need to make sure you blend them if you want them to look nice. In the morning or days like today, I'm gonna use the same color and I'm gonna use my bronzer instead of my eyeshadow. Bronzers normally come in really natural shades. Normally it's browns. Uh, this one is a brown but has some kind of pink undertone. These are really nice shades to work with and they are very easy to work with. You don't have to be really precise with that and you don't need to worry if you blend it properly or not. For my lower lash line I'm gonna use also my bronzer. For the lashes, mascara, the one I'm using is from L'Oreal, but I always now like to use a bit of a primer. I'm gonna need to wait for a minute for this to dry, but since we don't waste time, I'm gonna jump to my eyebrows and do eyebrows very quickly. I like to use a bit of a pencil, and my pencil is from Gosh, and this pencil includes spoolie on one side and pencil on the other, so that's very handy. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows first, I like to brush them up and I will define my eyebrows but mostly outer part of them. For my eyebrows to stay in place, I'm gonna use brow gel. It helps for the product to stay on the eyebrow all day. And gel, just fix them and keep them in a certain shape all day. That's it, it's done. Let's come back to the eyelashes. Bit of a mascara. Can you see the difference, how good mascara this is? L'Oreal Paradise, really nice. I've got this one funny lash. It literally grows down and it's just one like that. I think I need to pull it out later. That's it, lashes in place. Now time for the lips. There's one product I always use and sometimes it can be the only product. So I always need my lip pencil. And my favorite is from Gosh for every day. And this one is in shade number one, Nougat Crisp. And now I'm just gonna use a lip balm from Carmex.
and that's it quick makeup when you were super lazy or you can't be bothered that's just the makeup it's gonna improve your imperfection and I think that's good enough for every day I'm gonna list all the products down below if you've got any questions you can always write in the comments and I will happily answer just like always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time take care